Welcome back to Factorial Space Exploration. My name is Nilaus and we are here back in our base. And at the end of the previous episode, we managed to launch rockets and we can still launch rockets. As you can see, it's not going to be a lot. It's going to be uh, pretty much a manual process, picking up some of the stuff and getting them in there. So what are we going to do today? Well, first of all, thank you very much for following this series, both here on YouTube and on Twitch. I know some people want it to be more of a Let's Play. Some want it to be more of a tutorial. Some want it to be more of something else. But it, this series is what it is. It it's uh, streaming on Twitch, it is me doing some designs off camera, and then uh, me recapping and uh, illustrating and then also showcasing designs and uh, telling the story here on YouTube. That's how I want it to be and I think this is the bringing the most value. So thank you for following along, I am very much appreciate it. This is where we left off at the end of the last time. Uh, we started to make like a train network. We have a lot of stuff that are not done. We have uh, just the idea of how we would want to get this in the future. Everything is belted back and forth and it's a big belt spaghetti. What we want to do today is transition this into being city blocks feeding into rail system, rail systems feeding into other city blocks, production in city blocks, communication with, uh, with trains, that's all something we have done, so we let or we know how to do because we've done it before. So having a whole episode doing just that is not going to be uh, particularly interesting. So what I'll also do instead, uh, on top of that, is I will make a hub because this is awful and it doesn't scale and it's on top of city blocks and all that stuff. And we need a hub that is fed by trains coming in. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that all these blinking things are done, get all this stuff done here, start migrating. Uh, things over to train network. So uh, let's have a look at this blinking mess and then just wish our way forward because this is all something we have done before and we know how to do. So we now skipped a little bit forward and uh, what we can see is that I have started migrating or started uh, transitioning into using or putting things on a train. So we still retain the old one with the old spaghetti mess, but we also now add it into train and you can see there's not enough because I'm not getting enough coal inbound and that's because our coal has been, uh, is running out, there's only like 16, yeah, not many thousands left. If we look at other things such as here, the green circuit is also coming in and this will be fed from a train and another train. So here we actually have a full system set up with uh, copper trains coming in and also the stone brick trains, even though the stone brick train is only coming from here, you know, it's just a uh, the symbolism of doing it. So things are just starting. I wanted to make sure that we got like a the process going. So we started with copper going in and that goes into greens, then stone goes up into trains, trains go in here. So the greens get fed, the greens, where can they go? They can go to that location and we just go transition out. That can go to something here with green. Uh, no, nope. there. We will get green circuits in eventually at this location, but it's not ready that station. So that's the stuff we need to continue working on. We need to convert this into a steel build uh, and, and make another iron build maybe here so we can get all of this into both a steel and an iron build. Uh, so basically we just continue and get it into a position where all of these are, uh, are feeding into train networks. Likewise, also the glass as well. And so the new build is done. Let's have a look that I have built the steel dedicated here. I built a lot of uh, epic build, dragging four lanes over, getting in here to some iron, getting that in. So now we have iron on the train, we have coal, steel on the train, we have green circuits on the train, we have stone bricks, we have plastic, we have copper, we have red circuits, and we do not, uh, we have glass as well. I even had to uh, build another power plant, hook it up to another coal plant, because we were simply running out of uh, coal at this point. So this means that now I have all the things I need in order to make a hub, iron, copper, stone bricks, steel, green circuits, red circuits. Those are the things we need in order to make a hub. Plastic, well, plastic is needed for the reds, and we now have a functional setup. This is something that I wanted to skip forward through this because honestly, we've seen this before. We, we know how uh, hooking up one more station and one more station. Uh, here's also some coal, uh, which is uh, going into the plastic and maybe also some other places. Don't think it's so uh, right now. So what do we want to do now? We want to make a hub and that's uh, gonna be in this location. So we know at this location and we want to make a hub and uh, the hub doesn't really work in the existing form because if we look at our jumpstart base here, that also doesn't work because uh, like there's a burner assembler before a normal assembler. There's a burner miner before a normal, uh, no, a burner 
Well, the burner miner before normal miner, a power pole requires another power pole, the miner requires another miner, the insert requires, yeah, you get the point. On top of that, we also have the engine, single engine and uh, electric engines that we also need to do. So generally the hub don't work. Now the hubs don't work. They just make us sad. Now, what we will do is we will take the most important ones. We'll take the ones with belts and inserters. That's the most important one. And then we'll build it. Hmm, are we gonna build it like all the way down here? Yeah, uh, like, and I want to make sure that, like that. Now we're starting to build it. Don't know if that's good, don't know if that's bad. So this is gonna be most of what we want. Um, some of the things are not really going to work for because, for example, here, this is not going to work because it requires stone. So we can't really get that in here and we'll have to figure out a different place or way or something to get the stone in at this location. Um, so that's uh, that's a different matter. So that, that's not going to work. This will also need like changes as well. Um, and we'll probably need like more here as well. I'm not going to make this all the way up to blue science. So basically what I want to do, I want to make like the most important things. When making a hub, you have to balance between building everything and then because then it gets hugely complicated or just saying there's a balance between how much do you really need something and is it something I can do? For example, I'm going to skip all the glass parts for now because I can't really fit them in. And it's a little bit sad or annoying, but I guess I kind of have to. So here I will build, this is the other one. And it will also be heavily modified because what I need is I need the most important things. Uh, these are granted not so important, but I do need all this. So let's start by, by just changing some of the stuff that I definitely want to, uh, to change. Uh, let's get these in here and then just have everything else being built around. Uh, there will be some skips in this because yeah, it make, just makes sense. So here's my thought. I want to take the middle ones here and make those into here. Obviously, we're going to take some of these uh, locations out. Uh, actually, I would rather have it up here like that so that I have on the top belt, I'll have gears and single engines. Then I want these to be the electric engines there, but they require copper and I don't have copper. So I'm going to get this to be copper wire because and I know that all of the inserters are now completely wrong for everything. The copper wire here is going to be uh, needing a lot of, of uh, here. This one is every 0 0.8 seconds, it needs six copper wire. Well, that's not gonna happen, but I can do this part. And up on this belt, this will be steel and copper. So I could just do that one and that one, that one, and that one. And then I could grab like this, and then I steal some copper from here. I copper some steel, there you go. And that's going to be like the bigger idea here. Yes. And this is iron coming in. Yep. Um, but I think this part, this belt here, that's only iron. We don't need as much iron right now. So we're going to be getting this into something else as well. Let's have a look at this point. This will use single cylinder engine and iron. Iron comes in on this belt and the single cylinder engine comes up on this one. I don't need to grab it from here. The next one is, okay, let's just gears, get those. This will be uh, greens. Greens can come from that line. This that will be green. And this is all good. This comes from single sink engines here, here, here. Yes. All right. So that is kind of already done. Uh, the reason why this is important, like one, two, three, four uh, gear makers is because I'm going to use a ton of gears here. So I want to make sure that I have a lot of gears. Now, moving on beyond this part, we have another little challenge and that is we are going to make, we're gonna to have to start with the burner inserters. Burner inserters need stick. So I'm gonna make a stick here. The burner inserters will now go into that location. I'm just gonna power pole comb this. And I also know that this is using iron sticks. So iron sticks goes that way and that way. Good. And I don't even know what this belt is supposed to be. Nope, don't know. Um, but that's 
let's try and figure out the next part. I all of these. I, I think I just need to take all of these inserters out and just build them afterwards again. Um, you are gonna go here, and then that will be a blue inserter. So the yellow goes into blue, and the yellow goes into red. Yes, let's do that. There. And you're gonna go that way as well, and you will go this way, and you'll also go up, and that will be the greens, and then even further it'll be white ones. So that is how I want this. We need more stuff. I'm gonna build out here as well. We're gonna need one more pile. And what are we gonna do? Well, hmm. What if I put you down here? And again, I'm going to ignore all these ins and outs right now. What do you need? You need small electric motors. I have that here. I need greens. I got that here. Yes. I need stone bricks. That's going to be shared on this iron is going to be also stone bricks. Because I'm also going to need that for something else. And iron as well. So this is going to be iron and stone bricks on this one combined. Then in order for me to build the miner, I will need a... Mm, there, which is going to be stone bricks coming in here, and iron coming in here, and the gear, the what is it called, the single cylinder coming up from there, and that will just be pushing into the next. So we get that sorted. I will get gears from here, and I will get the small electric motors from there, and that actually works. I don't know what this is for. This is for uh, no, oh, oh. Oh, that's not good. This is the green circuits. Uh, here. There you go. This is green circuits coming in, and this is iron. Yeah. Then I think I need to do this thing as well, because I think I have a few more here that I need to build. Um, for example, I am going to get that one. Stone bricks, that's coming in on this belt. Then you're just going to push it forward. There, um, iron and that one, and then the here. Next is iron coming in from the side, and small electric coming in from here, and that one, and then go further. And then this is going to be a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Green circuits that means I need to be able to get this further in. Yeah, got that. And that's green circuits, electric engines coming from this location. The assembly machine coming here. And then I need a steel inbound as well. This is going to be a steel belt, so I can leach that. Yeah. Good. Right, so that's... Oh, hold on. What is uh, What are we actually getting from this belt? Uh, this belt is green circuits. Yes, green circuits. Good. So that is a lot of things that I want. I can then take this out here, this out here. Um, we're also going to get... We're definitely going to get more stuff in this location because I want to make more stuff here, here. Also, I think... That needs single cylinders, so I think I'd want to put that into that missing location because I can just grab the single cylinders for here, I can grab the gears, and I can grab the iron from here. So that's easy to put in, which means we free up another space up here. Wow, this is awful to look at. There. This also should give you like an idea about how I do design work. Uh, what I need to do then is... See, here's a problem. That is going to be an issue because it requires concrete and we just don't have concrete available at this location. Not sure how we're going to fix that. Um, eventually, we're going to get concrete in somewhere, but I don't know how to do that. We'll, we'll just put a box of concrete and just ferry it over once in a while. I don't like it, but I don't see any other ways right now. Then copper wire is good because we're getting copper wire at this location. I think I want to ditch this part and only have copper wire on one side. Here, there, and then this power pole requires the small power pole. The small power pole, if we look at it, iron power pole is another stick. So that's two more things with sticks. There are more things with sticks as well, such as 
here, train stops, and, oh man, what's the next one? There's one more thing that requires sticks. Oh, there we go, rails. So let's do those things, and that means we want to have iron sticks in here. And they will be on this belt. There. That means I don't have anything on the other side of this belt. No, that's actually not true. I want it on the side. Yes. This means we can now redo this part here. So what do I want? There we go. Um, up here. I think I'm going to add another belt inbound. It's a little bit rough to bit it in here. And that. That will be stone and stone bricks. So that I can make stone furnace and steel furnace. Now I won't be able to get all the way to the electric furnace because I'm going to need heat shielding and I just don't have a way to get heat shielding in here anytime soon. So that is a little bit unfortunate. Then uh, we need to move forward and uh, since we have this belt here including gears and uh, sticks then this would be an excellent location to make rails because rails will need to grab from that location the one that has stone and stone bricks then what else that is needed here and then we should be pretty okay for the rest let's have a look on what else is uh, necessary um then we can just take some of the stuff down here that we don't really know what we want to do with these two are just needing greens this needs greens as well that's a bad place because i'm not getting greens in here um yeah that's a bad place don't want that don't know what where we're gonna do it yeah there's definitely a lot of let's just try to set up the parts here and then figure out Whew. Yeah, set up what is in each recipe and then figure out. This is unfortunately requiring glass, so I can't do that, which is really unfortunate. Um, this requires greens, and I have greens around here, but I also have greens around here. So anything else that would require greens would also be a nice way to put it here. Let's see, that's... Um, combinators, that would be decider combinator, for example. What other kind of combinators are there, or what other things... I don't think there's anything else that really needs it so let's get more in here that's a lot of design work by the way so if i hope that i hope that some people will be happy that there's now some active design work in uh, in this build and here yeah 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 and here good let's have a look so now if we We'll just follow this one along. This one will follow along. I don't have anything on the lower side of the belt. So I could build, and I will. Oh, really, biters? Seriously? Uh, oh, that's annoying. And it's a blue biter. Damn. Ow. They actually hurt. Okay, so we got blues. Hmm. Okay, well, um, that's interesting. Uh, what I think I want to do about it is, since they're now coming in here, this is one of those things that I would need to... Uh, I will need to fix it, but not right now. Using uh, even distribution to just fill this up easily. That means if we get it, then no, anything down here will be fixed by itself. Nope, it won't, but uh, doesn't matter. Not my problem. I am working on a hub. And back to the topic at hand. Trying to figure out what we want to do. I want to make some of these. They're going to take gears from the top. What is it? Like gears from the top. Iron from this side. No. Iron from somewhere else. Probably. Oh, right. I can. Yeah. Iron from here. Iron from there. And then... Copper, yes. And then that goes onto this belt. So now from this point and onwards, we will be able to have some 
electric engines on the belt. Why do we really want electric engines on the belt? Well, we kind of want to... Oh, that's a lot of stuff here. We need... We need pretty big. There, 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 there. Awful uh, pattern here. There we go. And what if you go over here? And then that will be... So again, we're not building it for the far future. We're just building it for kind of really right about now. So that should be pretty simple. This is an iron or a steel built coming in. So it should be easy to just feed in there, feed in there, and they're going to be happy. What else do we need? Uh, we need green circuits coming in at this location then. That one, green circuits coming in. It's basically just alternating one is for green and then the... Next one here is probably going to be the iron coming in here. And then the greens coming in here as well. There we go. Probably at that location. And greens there, greens there, there. Right. There's still tons of stuff we want. Uh, let's see. What? Why do we want this? Well, for example, that would be a great one to get. Right? So we can take red circuits we can take the electric engines we can take uh, steel comes here and then we do not know in any way shape or form how to get anything else in bound but if we are just being a little bit clever looking at the big electric pole that one then that also is a, an option what about you though that's also concrete mm, so you need concrete as well 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 yeah so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? I'm thinking that we need a concrete belt here as well. This is going to be a complete mess. And then it goes up. And then it goes from here and into that one. So I can go concrete, concrete, and uh, concrete. Yay! Copper, reds, yes. Uh, concrete, yes. And steel, mm, yes. All right, that's good. What about what about anything else? Uh, we have, we need more of these things and this one. So those are good. We can do that. It's just iron and green circuits. That's easy to do. Iron comes here and comes here. And green circuits is actually. I can just take these two as iron, and then green circuits comes from either side. All right, excellent. That's definitely not going to be forcing it in here. And then we have a little bit left. So let's try and see what if we use this little bit we have left. And then this belt here, this is going to be sticks, but sticks are not going to be used beyond this point. At this point, we don't need sticks anymore. So could I just be saying, just keep filtering only the gears? And then only the gears will move on on this belt. Yes. But it'll move on on the lower belt. And I kind of want it somewhere else. Whew. I kind of want to flip it so it changes direction on the belt. Maybe I do that here. Where it's not important for, you, for anything else. So let's do it here. And then go gears. So gears goes up here. Yeah. So now we switch it. And I can then feed that onto this belt. And where, what are we going to use it for? Well, we're going to use it for all the things that require pipes, but do not require glass as well. For example, glass, glass. That's unfortunate, right? So I can take this one. All these things are things we have. And uh, what about underground pipes? They are. What about uh, um, some pump? Yep. What about out here some of that? Yeah, sure. And then we just have one extra that we don't know what's for. And we have one extra in here that we don't know what's for. But that's fine. Well, maybe we'll come up with something. So at this point... Oh, right. Um, Kind of got the idea maybe this could be... Oh, maybe 
copy, paste. And you could be repair packs, for example, because that's stone. And I do have stone on this belt, which will just need to be funneled in. Yes. Then I have, hmm, copper, iron, whatever on this belt. What do they have on this belt? Uh, this is this is just iron, right? Yeah, just pure iron, which I also need. And then somehow only the stone goes in. And and from here. Yeah, and then I just need the copper. Copper is coming from that side upwards. And then I have all the stuff I need. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was a mess. So what I think I want to do is, the next thing is I want to get trains inbound. So how many items do we need? We need stone, stone bricks, greens, reds, iron, copper, and steel. That's seven things, and I can only get f six things in, I think, because I think I want to do like this build. This is kind of the simplest one, so let's see if we can squeeze it in here like that. And then obviously the most important thing is making sure that it doesn't copy the doesn't actually start sending things in. So like this, this is four and, or six items in. And then we have a stone break up here so I can just drag the stone in manually from here up here to this top belt. Easy. All right. Let's um, let's see if we can uh, hook everything up and uh, get ready for initiation. It took a bit of an effort to put all these uh, inserters the correct way. And I think they're here. There's probably an error here or there. And uh, what I've done uh, differently from my usual builds is that I have just simply constrained them by uh, space here instead of sort of doing something more advanced. That was simply a time consuming or a time conserving uh, effort. What I've also done is these uh, here, they have not been set up yet, but I think that as soon as I set them up as, uh, as inbound like this, I hope that a train will come in here. Uh, let's see, it is now one of one. Yes, this one is also just changing it to an iron location. There we go. Please be a train coming in. Uh, there is one of one train. Perfect. And then we can go up here and simply set the trains in motion. This one will be a steel. I should have something requesting steel. And do we have a train coming in for the steel? Yes, we do. And copper. Oh, this is wonderful that all of them are just ready to go. It has taken a little bit of time to do this. So yeah, the rest of the base has probably been idling a little bit while waiting for, for this base to get online. And that's going to be greens there. Let's see if that also works. It does. And the final one, let's see if we can get the reds. If they are working, this is the most crucial one there we go and things are starting to come in the only thing that we don't have in by train is the stone coming in and that comes up from a little mine up here so that's so close that i didn't really feel that well uh, let's be honest i couldn't really fit any more in here so let's have a look and see if it works it's coming in uh, quickly now it's not coming in as quickly as i'd like if we had some of these then that might actually be a nice setup and um, there Maybe that one helps a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Slowly we can upgrade these. Um, and that will come on here. Let's see. So iron comes in, flows in, starts filling up. That takes forever to, to fill up. And then we'll have the, all the mixed belts. It's going to take a while to set up. But we'll just see if things seem to be working. For example, here we're getting that. And we're not getting any here because things will just need to flow down the belt for such a long time before it even gets here and uh, stuff like for example this one will reach the single cylinder will be consumed heavily here and iron comes in with sticks that's not really a problem but these then we can make one and it, this one we wait for the blue or the electric engines which is again waiting for copper but copper is coming in so now it's just the speed that by which it can go what are you waiting for? Oh, you're waiting for iron to get in here because this is kind of on the last leg of the journey. So it's just coming in. We can definitely do these again here. There we go. That's helping a little bit, I guess. And do we have more? Yes. Oh, the wrong way. 
Yeah, do it indeed. There. That'll help a little bit on, on the iron, which because the iron will be the one that needs to go out faster. Probably should change this to a better unloader than uh, what we have here. Uh, also, since we have room for it, I can find a good unloader. This is a good unloader. There. Let's uh, replace... Let's replace this with the other one. There we go. This has now been replaced. And as is always super important when doing this. And that we always forget. Or I always forget. That one. Make sure that it's connected when you replace these. Um, yeah, so it can communicate with the network whether it needs more. And that will now have a much smoother input. Let's have a look at uh, the boxes, whether they're filling up. Uh, these are filling up, yes, and uh, it just seems like it'll overconsume here until the next stop here. This can, this can be fixed with a filter condition, but don't care. That's working. We got a little bit here. We got a little bit there. We got nothing in there. Why is that? Okay, it is coming in, but it's being distributed out here. So look at that. We're actually having one of these, one of these. As long as we have one, that means the flow is working. Likewise, if we are not getting a flow here okay that's because iron is simply not getting down the line here it just never passes by it's going to take a little bit of time to uh, to to balance let's see what we have here this is working this is working yes 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 these two these are all working here this is excellent uh that's not working why not oh right i know i know it's because oh i do have it it's because of that one. I moved a lot of the concrete over here just so that we have some for a rainy day. That rainy day is right here. That will go into this location, this location. So the substations, the rover ports, and the large power poles will go in here. And I just realized that we have a little bit of a problem. Oh, no, it's not a problem. It's just the fact that these are... Yeah, everything that goes out will be consumed here and here until we have this completed. So when this is completed, then the sticks will start flowing beyond and then maybe the trains, the tracks will not take all of them. Who knows? And then these will not consume all of them. And eventually, 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 some of the sticks will pass on and they will be going in here. Likewise, we are not getting the concrete. Why not? Oh, there's a little flaw here. There's, I knew there were a little bit flaws here and there. And that should get us going on the first thing here. There you go. So that's a substation. And the RoboPort is going to be excellent as well. Uh, why are we not getting... You're not getting an iron? Oh, because the iron will never pass here. But again, if we just wait a little bit, I will just uh, wait here. I just think that everything is working. And... Uh, this, this looks really good. Let's uh, wait a bit and then just come back when things have sort of stabilized a little bit more. But we've allowed a little time to pass and this has reached a really nice steady state. I've been sort of roaming around just taking a look at how things are going. If we look at this part, it actually looks uh, pretty neat. What we can also do is we can do one of these that is specifically here. Um, and that will also go in here. So that basically if we deconstruct something or upgrade something, then they should be coming back to this location and then they'll be part of the upgrade process. I guess that it can be done for all of these because they will be pretty reasonably updated or be uh, subject to, to upgrades. Aside from this, uh, everything else is uh, just working. Not everything else is fully saturated yet. Like there's only three of these. But you know, it's it's getting there, and that's because we're waiting for waiting for waiting for. Oh, okay. That waits for normal engines coming in. Where are they being consumed? Are they being uh, output here? Just slowly, slowly, slowly. And um, where are they being consumed? They're gonna be consumed for this one, for example. So they, they'll be consumed a few places. And anyway, this is at the end of the line, but eventually it'll fill up when everything else uh, saturates. It's going to be awesome. And this is a really nice hub that really solves all of our problems for now. It comes in by train, so that takes care of itself supply-wise. and Or, um, yeah, supply is taken care of. It's a nice city block. It's just really awesome design. So I know what you're saying. You go like, how can I get this blueprint? And I don't provide blueprints. Um, 
not going to say anymore, but not for this series, because a lot of things are not quite polished and they will be changed. And as soon as we get more stuff, then I'll start changing this one as well. Uh, so what I do is I upload my save games and then save games are available to patron supporters. So if you are a patron supporter, then you always get access to all of my save games. And then you can just go in and do a little copy paste yourself if you want to see this in your uh, own base. Or you can just uh, take a look at it and uh, just copy it as is. It's not like rocket science to do this, but uh, it's. Uh, I think it came out pretty neat uh, considering all the constraints I have. Of course, we haven't added the glass part, and I think we can probably maybe squeeze in some of the glass parts. But at this point, I'm out of time. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was a little bit of sort of fast forwarding through the infrastructure upgrade, and then a little bit detail in uh, in doing the design work for this. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this uh, this uh, space exploration content. Check out my Twitch where I am streaming this regularly. You can check my Discord or, or the Twitch um, schedule so that you know when I am streaming next time. Um, and until then, take care and stay effective.